Oliveira and I have the pleasure to be training here with Ciudad Juliana Calende. Uh, we are starting a new series uh, called Sidoshi's uh, Traditional Explanation. Uh, in this case we are uh, studying uh, more about the level studies uh, concerning student graduation and this is Kyoden. Kyoden, remember that we have explained in other videos uh, some time ago, it's uh, the tradition, the tradition explained, the tradition of learning tradition. Then uh, these were studies explained by some masters of has a method, an idea inside of what is this method. And what we are studying today is called katsu to. Katsu means to, to bind, to, to restrain. And to means comes from tatakao, that means war. Then it's to to restrain, to to bind, to tie the war of the opponent. In this case, it's a study or a children, a tradition, explain and apply on suwari no miko and katame no miko techniques under jujutsu. The most normal ideas were applied when the opponent is uh, trying to attack me with a tanto, but also could be explained with both using a watasatsu. But in this case, we are uh, focusing on the tanto application. Then, uh, let's go directly to explain what the idea on this, on this, uh, on this katsu uh, Please, thank you very much for helping me. In this uh, moment, uh, she will try here to attack me, for example, on a sagaru tsuki, coming uh, right down stuff on my head or on my uh, shoulder area, and I need from here to blow this surprising attack, very strong, because she will try to, to stun me so strong. And from here, the first thing what I need to do is to use the ground as equalizer of what is happening here, because of course, if we are here, sorry, up, and I think that maybe stopping in this way uh, it's uh, strong enough to stop the attacker, uh, this is a very risky situation because, of course, she will try to <coughs> go down and I won't be strong enough to stop this try of attack. And of course, a uh, knife is a very dangerous weapon in this close combat. Then from here I need to use the ground directly from here to the ground because right now I am more safe and safer than in other situations. Then from here what I will apply is I will move the wrist backward in order to reach downside, uh, sorry, backside his uh, her heel here. Okay. From here I have this uh, strong, uh, this strong. A restriction technique right here. Then from here, what I it's the classical idea of katsuto is to roll, to twist myself in order to generate a new circumstance, a new situation in what is happening here. This is why we are uh, tying or binding the war of the enemy. Because right now I will do the following thing. I will look to my right side and I will move here in order to have this control. If you take a look, we have here the knife, the knife. We are safe from this ranch of uh, damage and we have crossed her leg on this third stance, this position. Right now I push on the on the heel, on the ankle and I pass to the side. I have this control try to keep her on his uh, face down to the ground and of course I kneel down trying to stop or avoid her to, to to replace and regain a better position. Then from here I have the circle stand and the knife is completely stopped. Following this idea it's only to apply to different circumstances, different attacks and different ways to uh, restrain because it's a broad method, it's a broad study, and we cannot uh, be restricted to the to this to this technique because it's so far and it's a 
deeper uh, study. But I hope this solves 